All right, guys, it's the next day here. I told you I was planning to put some tires on it. Actually, I had these uh, four tires right here. They're 245, 40, 19s. Waiting to put on. Actually, they're 245, 45, 19s, but who's counting? Uh, and when I got there, I found out that the date codes are from 2007. So while the tread might be great, these are really unsafe to put on the car. So went ahead and bit the bullet. Spin a little more than I really wanted to. I really wanted to get some used tires on this thing just to, you know, kind of help keep the cost down. But I ended up getting these Bridgestone, or sorry, Firestone uh, Firehawk. They're, I think they're Indy 500s. They are a summer tire. I think they'll do fine. I ended up putting them on these terrible wheels, but you guys will see in a later video that we're gonna do something with these wheels and make them a lot look, look a lot better. We're not gonna paint them black or anything. I like the factory look like I mentioned earlier, but you know, we'll clean them up a little bit, get, get rid of some of this curb rash and kind of make them look a lot better. All right, so the first thing I wanna take care of this morning is getting rid of this flashing airbag light. It's really bothering me. I hate airbag lights. I hate any lights on the dash. I made, them, made sure they put the TPMS sensors back in the tires and they were all in good shape before I had them installed. I just hate having any lights on the dash. So. Anyway, I got my scan tool hooked up here. We're gonna figure out what's going on with this airbag and see if it's those seat airbags like we thought or if it simply just needed a reset from sitting at auction too long. That would be awesome. So we'll follow up with you here in a second. All right, we've got to list our codes here. Looks like a lot of this is due to the vehicle running out of battery power. Like when I first got it, the battery was completely dead. Then we tried to start it up a couple times and didn't have any luck. So. <clears throat> looks like um, for the most part that's all we've really got let's see if there's anything else so can communication circuit yep this looks exactly like uh, some DTCs that would be found if there was a um, battery issue so let's go ahead and erase them and see what happens saw there was a occupant sensor for the uh, passenger seat it looks like so we'll see if that goes away with this clearing here. And if it does, that'll be great. If it doesn't, we'll have to go under the seat and look and see if there's something unplugged, so. All right, and just like that, it looks like we might be okay with the code. So we'll see here for a second. Let's see if when we unplug our, <clears throat> look at that, it's gone. That's excellent news. So hopefully that one doesn't come back. We'll drive it around for a while and see what happens, but yeah, that's excellent news. I'm super glad that those seats actually have airbags in them. I was really worried that when they did the, uh, the custom seats here that they didn't put airbags back in them, but it looks like they did, so that's awesome. Now we got them all turned off. Let's, uh, let's get back to cleaning this thing. All right, guys, so before we get started on the next one, I wanna introduce you to my partner in crime, someone you've already seen on the channel a couple times, but uh, this is a formal introduction for her, but this is my dog. Her name is Lucy. She's a very good dog. She is my partner in crime, like I mentioned. Um, she's super sweet. She'll hang out with me outside most of the time. She is an inside doggy. But yeah, we uh, we love her very much, and she brings a lot of joy to our lives. And she'll see her walking around the video and me throwing her cool frisbee for her. She loves that frisbee like nothing else. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction. This is Lucy. All right, next on our list of stuff to do, we are going to be tackling the headlights. So these are a little bit cloudy. Uh, they clean up pretty easily generally. Um, I use Meguiar's mirror glaze and it works out really well. I was buying those 3M kits for a really long time and found that really sanding them isn't actually required. You'll kind of see what I mean in a minute where they turn out really well without sanding them. So we'll give it a shot, see what they look like. If we need to sand them, we will, but we're gonna try it without first. Let's do it.
All right, so finished that up. I think they turned out pretty well for a really short amount of work. That probably was maybe uh, five, six minutes worth of work. Uh, they look pretty clear to me. I don't really see a problem with the way this goes. I mean, they're not brand new. They're not in the best shape. Obviously, I don't know if you can see some of the pitting that's already been done from the sun. There's also a little bit of sun damage up here. Uh, you can see some cracking going on there, but there's nothing that would really fix that that I know of. But you guys comment down below if you have a better way to fix that. But uh, the last step I use is this Blue Magic headlight sealer. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really, I haven't really had the best results with this stuff. I'd really be curious to know what you guys use to seal this other than clear coat. Uh, I don't have the pleasure of clear coating these at my house right now, so. But anyway, it works pretty well for what it is. It's like basically an oil substance, um, repels water, seems like it repels the sun decently well, but I've noticed that about after a year they will return to yellow, so. Temporary fix for now, but works for me. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video on restoring the headlights on the G37. Honestly, this is one of those that's super quick and super simple to do, and you guys could do it easily. I used the Meguiar's mirror glaze, as I mentioned, and it took maybe five minutes to do the whole job, and it took years off the headlights. Uh, it's like we found the fountain of use for this, youth for this thing. So really excited about that, really excited with the results. Uh, I had the exterior video. I'm currently editing it as we speak. Uh, and it should be ready by this weekend. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Uh, this one has been a really interesting journey. And from where we started to where we are now, it's a total transformation. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. But if you found this video interesting, please like, share, subscribe with your friends. Uh, you know, I know there's a ton of people out there with some yellow headlights that could use some help. So uh, anything we can do to help them makes their car look way better. So anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed the content. We'll see you on the next one.